助けに来たぜよらんよっと見せてその先の力というものをブリーチブレイクスソーツ Alrighty, what is going on, you guys? This is your boy, the Death Smasher, and welcome back to yet another Bleach Brave Souls video. And today we are back again with yet another character comparison, and we'll be taking a very good look at both the Thousand Year Blower anime Ichigo and Parasol Bruno, who we just got not too long ago. And both of these characters are contenders of being numero uno best part unit in the game, and it's time that we go ahead and compare them. So let's just start off by talking about the stats, skills, and kit that they all have. So starting it off with Ichigo, he is still by far one of the most broken characters in the game and is still a top 10 best unit in the game with the amount of skills that he has so far. Having double killers of Aronkar and no affiliation, Frenzy plus 2 with 100% extra damage to non-affected enemies, and also having for the first time ever in the game, Pierce Iron Skin. And the crazy thing is, it's even accompanied with hit hidden enemies, so you don't even need to give him a Zeta pill. You can just go ahead and build him up with a badge, pill, and T set and get the best damage that you can out of this character. Also has Havoc of 20%, giving him a lot more range in his strong attacks. A good soul bomb of devastation of 60%, paired along with the 100% damage, it's definitely going to do some very good numbers. The 40% Bruiser skill is a bit misplaced because he is not a NAD character, but if you guys ever want to go for the NAD route with this character, you can because the 100% damage skill is rounding it up to the point that he almost has Flurry, which is pretty good. He's going to be doing some very respectable damage numbers. He's also got Marauder, so he can nullify melee resistance and has Guard Break, so whenever you attack with this character, he is not getting any damage reduced and also has shared complete status immunity. He is immune to every single status element and of course can provide set status element immunity for 10 seconds to the rest of his allies, making him a very great supporter for co-op content. Has Sprinter plus two and on top of that, he also has long stride, read all affiliation dodges and 20% stamina recovery. So yeah, easily he is by far the ultimate all-rounder that we have in the game by far. The only difference is um, he doesn't have status elements and when using him in content like guild quests, let's say you have a nuker as a main, Ichigo is going to lose the 100% damage because then it's like as if he's only left with frenzy plus two. But everything else where you can use this character, he's going to be amazing in epic raids, fantastic in inheritance trials, and for most hard content that we have in the game, he is going to be the ultimate ace from your card sleeve making him that much of a great unit. Oh, and the kit, he's got a 3k length beam on the first. He's got double full screens on his SA2 and SA3. So the second Tron attack is 1080 beyond full screen. And then the third Tron attack is 1200 radius. So yeah, beyond full screen. Kit aged very well, and he's going to continue staying among the best heart units in the game for a very long time. Now jumping into Bruno, he has status elements and is still a very cracked character as a whole because he's got double killers just like Ichigo, albeit one of them isn't really going to be mainly meant for PvE, but for GQ in specific. He has Hollow and a spot -a kill which in my opinion isn't that bad of a selection. We do need a bit more melee a spot -a killers to use as side units alongside the third and the Oak remake, so we take it for what's granted. And he has a very good set of skills. He does have Frenzy plus two, Berserker 40%, has the complete status immunity. Sadly, it's not shared like Ichigo, but he is still immune to every status element regardless. Devastation of 40%, Havoc of 20%, and the innate abilities, he does also have Marauder. So again, same stuff as Ichigo, Long Stride, and Sprinter Plus 2. And uh, the crazy thing is that this guy, even though he is not hitting as hard as Ichigo, he's got the gauge mechanic to compensate for it. Because at base, every single gauge character that we have in the game is always going to have 100% Berserker and 20% damage reduction upon activating the gauge mechanic. And on top of it, he came with a brand new set of skills to help accompany the gauge mechanic. He already has the heal 30%, so once you activate it, you're also going to be getting 30% of your health back. Your strong attacks will also come back a lot faster by 30%. 
He also has the start gauge plus 70% every time you start a quest, meaning that with the touch of four strong attacks upon starting the quest, you can already activate the gauge. And the crazy thing about this character is he's got the spiritual pressure 50% buff. So once he activates the gauge, he is going to be a way better character than the likes of anime Ichigo. But it's only when this guy has it active which is a bit unfortunate because once the gauge mechanic wears off, you're back to using Frenzy plus two with only 40% Berserker. And the kit, uh, he's pretty much art book Ichigo, but as a hard character. He has the suction vortex on the SA1, 960 in front, and then a 1200 full screen third straw attack. So his kit is fantastic. Granted, it would have been better if they gave him a better first strong attack, but I can understand why they gave him that strong attack because it just makes it easier to inflict status omens. This guy can inflict status omens, whereas Ichigo cannot, and if you guys use him as a side unit in GQ, he is not losing any type of damage whatsoever. So how are we gonna compare these two characters? We're gonna be doing two runs, one in Inheritance Zone, single player, and then the other is going to be in single player IT. And that's how we're gonna be showcasing these two characters here and then give out a final result into who is the better heart character. So with that being said and done, let us begin. As saw, Ichigo was the faster character overall, whereas Bruno struggled to keep up with him in IZ, but thankfully in IT, the time in which it took for him to clear was pretty much tied, proving that Bruno can be just as potent as Ichigo in there. Now, what about the pros and cons? Well, I'll have them immediately listed. There you guys go. Now, Bruno takes the W for Guild Quest because of his consistent multipliers and how he can work excellently well for a side in both melee, hollow, and melee spotter rotations and when bruno activates the gauge effect he instantly becomes one of the strongest hitting characters in the game for a good 10 seconds surpassing the likes of macy and quincy ichigo now it's only going to be for when the gauge is active but in just those 10 seconds whew, he does a lot of damage now albeit for some quests where there are hidden enemies you will need to give him a zeta pill in order to make the runs faster it's a bit of a hit or miss depending from person to person. The way of how I see it, Bruno the stupid insane damage that already warrants sacrificing the Karakorn Alpha for it, so I just don't see any problem, just give him a Zeta pill and there you guys go, you're good to go. However, he unfortunately doesn't have the Sabler, making him proc weakening less consistently compared to characters like Safi Gein in 7th Anniversary Uryu, and his saving grace for doing that is his SA1, which uh, by no means is it a bad essay, but for when it comes to clearing content fast, it does hold him back because he is not doing what Ichigo can do. It is only a 750 AoE in front, 
leaves you locked in place as well, which can be annoying depending from person to person. Now, as for Ichigo, huge W on Pierce Iron Skin, he does not need to inflict the status element to bypass the enemy's damage reduction in Inheritance Trials. You just use his strong attacks and it's a wadida. He also has a much faster kit, that 3k beam of his is what helps him keep his distance, line up the wave of enemies to take out, gets the job done, accompanied with his double full screens, it's a great kit that's gonna age like fine wine as the game progresses over time. Oh and uh, he has 100% pure damage. As long as enemies aren't inflicted by an ailment, Ichigo just shreds them without having to worry about a single thing. But the main negative thing about him is that for GQ, he ain't the greatest. Just isn't able to inflict status summons, debuff the bosses, or anything of that kind of sort, whereas Bruno can get the weakening off. He can take away the defense and literally have the bosses steamrolled. And this next point is connected with how he isn't as great for GQ as Bruno. When an ally inflicts any types of status omens, he loses the 100% damage to non-afflicted enemies, making it to where he only has Frenzy plus 2. And in the scenario where you per se use Christmas Noel or Macy to nuke melee no affiliation guild quests, and you have Ichigo on the side, the moment you hit the soul bomb button, Ichigo's damage is gone, dusted, sent to the Shadow Realm. In conclusion, I have to still give it to Ichigo. He's just better than Bruno in every single content besides skill quests, so he's keeping the number one spot for heart. And Bruno is crowned for the second spot. Which, by the way, it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Bruno is still gonna age like fine wine as the game progresses through, and it's just gonna be that one character that is going to help exist if you don't have the likes of Thousand Year Blower and Adam and Ichigo. And he's fantastic. Too. Thank you guys for watching. Did you guys enjoy the revamped comparison videos of these characters? Let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the change or not. Now, with that being said, if you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your boy the Death Smasher, and I'll see you guys next time because, uh, guess what? I'm gonna be doing the same thing with 7th Anniversary Ichigo and Balgo and Sushi. So stay tuned for that, lads. Peace out. Bye!